Hello, everyone. Prince William's firm stance. The battle over Harry's titles and inheritance. The tensions within the British royal family have reached a boiling point, with Prince William taking a firm and unyielding stance against his brother, Prince Harry. This familial strife, compounded by the delicate health of King Charles, has left the monarchy at a crossroads, with decisions being made that could forever alter its future. The recent burial of their uncle was not just a somber occasion for the royals, but also an opportunity for a critical conversation between Prince William, Prince Harry, and King Charles. The subject at hand, Harry's use of his royal title, his inheritance, and his future within the royal fold. This was no ordinary family discussion. It was a pivotal moment that would dictate Harry's relationship with the monarchy and his place in the public eye. In a private meeting at Buckingham Palace, the three royals sat down to discuss the complex and contentious issues that have plagued their relationship since Harry and Meghan's departure from royal duties. The conversation was said to be tense, with emotions running high, especially given King Charles's declining health and his desire to heal the rift within his family. As the conversation unfolded, it became clear that Prince William, acting on behalf of King Charles, was determined to take a hard line. William made it known that Harry's use of his royal title in public would no longer be permitted. This decision, which would see Harry formally stripped of his titles by Buckingham Palace, was a significant blow to the Duke of Sussex. I can't help but feel that this move, while necessary from a royal perspective, also carries a heavy emotional weight. It's a stark reminder of how far Harry has strayed from the institution that once defined his life. For William, the responsibility of protecting the monarchy's reputation has become paramount, and his determination to uphold these standards is clear. Another critical issue discussed during this meeting was Harry's inheritance, estimated at around $8 million. This inheritance from the Queen Mother was not without strings attached. According to the conditions set forth in her will, Harry's access to these funds is contingent on him adhering to specific expectations and obligations. These conditions, though not fully disclosed, are believed to include stipulations about his public behavior and his involvement with the royal family. Failure to meet these conditions could result in Harry forfeiting his inheritance, a prospect that undoubtedly adds another layer of tension to the already strained relationship. From my perspective, the inclusion of such conditions reflects a deeper concern within the royal family about Harry's future actions and their potential impact on the monarchy. It's a stark reminder that even in death, the Queen Mother's influence continues to shape the royal family's dynamics. King Charles, for his part, is caught in an almost impossible situation. On one hand, he is a father who desperately wants to see his family reunited. On the other, he is the King of England, tasked with upholding the dignity and continuity of the monarchy. This duality has placed an immense strain on him, particularly given his declining health. Charles's hope is to bring Harry back into the fold, to restore some semblance of harmony within the family. But William's firm stance has made it clear that this will not come without significant concessions from Harry. The monarchy, after all, is an institution that must be preserved even if it means making difficult and painful decisions. As I see it, Charles is in a position that no father would envy. His desire for reconciliation is genuine, but it is increasingly clear that the road to peace is fraught with obstacles. The question now is whether Charles can find a way to balance his paternal instincts with his royal duties, or if the strain will prove too much. Amidst the discussions about titles and inheritance, the topic of Meghan Markle's potential return to the UK also surfaced. According to sources, any return by Meghan would be contingent on her and Harry purchasing a private property for their family, a move that would signify their independence from the royal family and potentially ease the tensions 
surrounding their presence in the UK. However, this condition also highlights the ongoing trust issues within the royal family. The requirement for Meghan and Harry to have a private residence suggests a reluctance to fully reintegrate them into the royal fold. It's a clear message that while they may be welcome to visit, their previous roles and privileges are no longer on the table. In my opinion, this stipulation reflects the royal family's broader concerns about the Sussex's intentions and the potential for further disruptions. Meghan's return is not seen as a simple homecoming, but rather as a potential flashpoint for renewed controversy. Adding another layer of complexity to the situation is the ongoing legal conflict over the security arrangements for Harry and his family when they are in the UK. After stepping down as senior royals, Harry and Meghan lost their taxpayer-funded security, a move that has since sparked a bitter legal battle. Prince William has been tasked with overseeing the reorganization of royal duties, including the security provisions for the Sussexes. It's a delicate task, balancing the need to protect Harry and his family with the realities of their changed status within the royal hierarchy. From a personal standpoint, I find this situation particularly telling. It underscores the deep rift between Harry and the rest of the royal family, a rift that has now manifested in legal disputes and public disagreements. The issue of security, once a given, is now a battleground for the broader conflict within the family. As the next in line to the throne, Prince William carries the heavy burden of protecting the monarchy's reputation. His firm stance on Harry's use of his title and the conditions attached to his inheritance are indicative of his commitment to preserving the institution's integrity. William's actions are not just about enforcing royal protocol. They are about safeguarding the future of the monarchy. In a world where the royal family's relevance is increasingly questioned, William understands that any perceived leniency could undermine the public's trust in the institution. I can't help but admire William's resolve in this situation. He is acutely aware of the stakes and is willing to make the tough decisions necessary to ensure the monarchy's survival. But I also recognize the toll this must be taking on him personally. The rift with his brother is not just a royal issue, it's a deeply personal one, and the weight of that cannot be underestimated. The ongoing tensions within the royal family are not just a matter of public record, they are also a source of deep emotional pain for those involved. King Charles, in particular, is said to be struggling with the strain of trying to mediate between his sons while also dealing with his own health issues. The emotional toll on Prince William is also significant. He is not just a future king, but a brother who has seen his relationship with Harry deteriorate to the point of near irreparability. The burden of responsibility weighs heavily on him, and the decisions he makes now will have lasting consequences for the family. Harry, too, is undoubtedly feeling the strain. His decision to step back from royal duties was meant to provide a sense of freedom and independence, but it has instead led to a series of conflicts that have only deepened the divide between him and his family. As an observer, it's hard not to feel a sense of sadness about the situation. The royal family, once seen as a symbol of unity and continuity, is now grappling with internal divisions that threaten to tear it apart. The emotional toll on each member is palpable, and it's clear that there are no easy solutions. The decisions made in the coming months will be crucial in shaping the future of the British monarchy. Prince William's firm stance, King Charles's desire for reconciliation, and Harry's continued estrangement from the royal family are all factors that will play a role in determining the monarchy's path forward. There is a growing sense that the monarchy must adapt to survive in the modern world. But the question remains, at what cost? The rift between William and Harry, the ongoing legal battles, and the conditions placed on Meghan's return are all indicative of a family 
struggling to find its way in an increasingly complex and unforgiving world. As someone who has followed the royal family for years, I can't help but wonder what the future holds. Will the monarchy be able to weather this storm and emerge stronger on the other side? Or will these internal conflicts ultimately lead to its decline? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The decisions made now will have far-reaching consequences. The British royal family is at a crossroads, facing challenges that could define its future for generations to come. Prince William's firm stance on his brother's use of titles and inheritance reflects the serious nature of these challenges, as does King Charles's desire to reunite his family despite the odds. The emotional strain on all parties involved is evident, and the decisions made in the coming months will be critical in determining the monarchy's path forward. As the world watches, the royal family must navigate these turbulent waters with care, balancing tradition with the need for change and personal relationships with the demands of duty. Looking at this unfolding drama, I find myself reflecting on the balance between personal freedom and duty, between modernity and tradition. The monarchy, for all its pomp and circumstance, is fundamentally about service and sacrifice. Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties was framed as a quest for personal freedom, but it has come with costs that are both financial and reputational. As for Prince William, his role as the future king has never been more critical. He is walking a tightrope, balancing the expectations of his father, the demands of his role, and the turbulent emotions of a fractured brotherhood. One cannot envy his position, yet one must also respect the firmness of his resolve. In the end, the future of the monarchy will depend on the ability of its key players to find common ground and adapt to the realities of a rapidly changing world. Whether they can do so remains to be seen, but the stakes have never been higher. Thanks for watching the video. For this fascinating case, I would like to know your thoughts. Please comment below. Especially, don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you again.